Well, here at home, Canada now has a new ambassador for the rights of religious minorities. This morning, Prime Minister Stephen Harper has designated a Catholic professor to lead the newly created Office of Religious Freedom. And Ottawa says it's all part of building on its agenda beyond borders. So Brigitte Pellerin has the details now, mm -hmm. breaking them down for yes. us in Ottawa. Yes, we were speculating a great deal yesterday morning. Now we do actually have the announcement. We have the name of the ambassador, Dr. Andrew Bennett, a relatively little known academic, uh, a Christian, um, and somebody who I, I take it from people who know him. I don't personally know him myself, but I take it from people who know him that this is in fact a very good choice um, to be heading this little office inside of foreign affairs. Um, there won't be, uh, as we were saying yesterday, it's not a big office, uh, but budget of about five million dollars a year probably a staff of a handful of people four or five maybe six people their job as the prime minister announced yesterday will be number one to monitor uh, incidents of religious persecution around the world and to promote religious freedom as a key a corner store a cornerstone if you will of Canadian foreign policy uh, so this really will be the main job of this office and I expect that this man in question will uh, acquit himself of his functions very well the issue that we have found yesterday and we were debating this and discussing this yesterday morning and then we heard from opposition politicians a little bit later on yesterday as well, is the, the, the one criticism I think that the opposition seems to have with this office is that it seems to be putting religion above other human rights when it comes to defending freedom around the world. In fact, Thomas Mulcair, the leader of the official opposition here in Ottawa, did, I think, express um, his objection to this. He, he made a very good case about why he objects specifically to this particular office. Take a listen to what he had to say yesterday. The Conservatives have been promising for some time to have a major initiative on promoting democracy. So democracy is, of course, protection of freedoms. Freedom of religion is one of them. Freedom of speech is another. You'd want to see the promotion of democratic institutions, the existence of an opposition, a, a free and uh, independent court system, the rule of law. These are all values that should be espoused, and uh, the Conservatives uh, have chosen one. And uh, li the Liberal interim leader, Bob Ray, had similar comments to make about that, Alex. And I think that they're going at it carefully because, of course, nobody wants to be against promoting freedom of conscience and religion uh, as a principle. That's obvious. So they're, they're being careful in their criticism of it. Um, but you can see what they're saying. In fairness, though, I should point out that uh, you know, promoting human rights, generally speaking, is already a cornerstone of, of Canada's foreign affairs policy. So obviously, for, for this kind of criticism, it's already being done. And they simply wanted to put more emphasis on freedom of conscience and religion with this office. Myself, I'm kind of on defense with that one. I don't object to it in principle, but I'm not actually sure it's going to actually do much of anything good. And we are also going to see, I think, some politicking going on with exactly which groups deserve and, and which regions of the world deserve more resources than others. And I'm afraid that we'll become tangled up in some political weeds. But again, I hope I'm wrong about that one. Right. Uh, you could even politicize the person being put mm -hmm. in charge, a Christian, some might say maybe a Muslim should be put in charge, mm -hmm. uh, someone else will say another party sh uh, uh, religion should be put in charge. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens with this. Yes, indeed. So All far, right. so okay, I think. Yeah, <laughs> day one's gone swell. All right, thanks, Thank Brigitte. You.